In New York, you can be a new man. One of Lin-Manuel Miranda's great lyrics from Hamilton. And, um, and that's probably the story of my life, the kid from suburban Detroit, who grew up watching the Tony Awards. That was my relationship to New York. Watching a chorus line on television on the Tony Awards and Annie and a Misbehavin' and Evita. Um, I got lucky when um, senior year of high school, my cousin Marty Singer, an entrepreneur now in Chicago, but he worked at Bell Labs, he and his wife brought me to New York for the first time. I was 17 years old and uh, the first Broadway musical I ever got to see was Dream Girls on Broadway in 1982. First time I ever walked into Times Square and I said, is that it? <laughs> um, and then I had another friend uh, who I had met at a summer camp and he lived on the Upper East Side and he took me downtown to see um, the Fantastics. And um, I remember being 17 years old and walking um, all the way down from Sullivan Street in the West Village all the way up through the village, stopping in Rockefeller Center, and then walking Park Avenue all the way up to his apartment on 96th Street and Lexington Avenue. And um, that's how I learned about New York when I was 17 years old on the way to college. Um, I graduated in 86, as uh, um, my bio says, and um, um, I was so scared. I was so scared because I thought to myself, I'm here in Oak Park, Michigan, and I have no idea how I'm going to get from the backyard in Oak Park, Michigan to fulfilling my dreams to work on Broadway. Um, but like so many of you in this room, I just created myself every day, and I got that first job in a public relations firm in New York on West 44th Street at 19 West 44th Street. And I remember um, my father dropping me off at the airport, at Detroit Metro Airport, when you could still go all the way to the gate. Uh, and then uh, getting on that um, plane, um, you know, that discount carrier, People's Express. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and how that airplane you know, flew from Detroit, and the next thing I knew, I was looking out the side of the plane, and we were coming up the Hudson River, and, uh, and I saw Manhattan on my left, and I just thought, oh, I'm here. And um, I remember, um, and then, of course, I used the village voice in order to get a, um, a share in an apartment in Brooklyn at 121 Prospect Place, like uh, many of you did. Well, now you use Craigslist, but back then we actually opened up the village voice. And, um, and uh, I lived at 121 Prospect Place and started my career in New York. And um, I started as a booker, and um, I would do f uh, shows with my friends um, on the side. We did shows at Road of Shalom on the Upper um, West Side. We did shows at a church in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. So sometimes I was taking the D train all the way to the bottom of Brooklyn, and sometimes I was taking the C train to get off at 81st and Central Park West so I could do shows with my friends at night after my job. And I also remember remember this image of running over the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, I'm not as good a runner as you, but I would do that run over the Brooklyn Bridge, and, um, and I would say, I'm going to conquer that city someday. Maybe I'll get to live on the Upper West Side, which I dreamed of because of a movie called Parting Glances, and the romance and the beauty of, um, of living on Riverside Drive. Could I ever live somewhere like that someday? This is a city of dreams. And, um, and little by little, every little thing happened. I produced shows with my friends. I met Jonathan Larson. I walked by the Broadhurst Theater saying, will I ever have a show in a theater like this someday? As I was still doing shows in the basement on West 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 42nd Street with my friends. Um, Detroit is a city that has had a hard time but when I think about Detroit and New York, I think about two cities that so embody the American dream that we can make anything from ourselves. 
And I just want to say to you, thank you for having me. I am happy because um, my other favorite lyric that Lynn wrote is, look around, look around, how lucky we are to be alive right now. History is happening right here in Manhattan, the greatest city in the world. Thank you for having me and have a great weekend. Good to see you too. I, I know Jeffrey wants to say pow. That's how I'm You ready?